and welcome back guys to another episode. Today we're playing Polyroam. Now Polyroam is very interesting for the fact that it has been created by the same creators that created the long drive. Was there a lot of words that started with create? Yes, there was, but that's how cool this game is. This game has like changeable batteries. You have to keep an eye on the motor to make sure it's still good. The oil doesn't go away from the gas tank. It's really cool. You guys will see it here as I play. So for now, let's just start a new game. All right, M is the compass that helps you return there. And there's an invisible wall right here that I cannot go past. So that's cool. Uh, this is a car that you start with. It, as, as you can tell, it's missing a few things. Missing a door, engine, battery, coolant tank. You know, all the stuff that you'd normally find on the long drive. It's pretty easy. There we go. Battery power as at 60%, but I believe that could be charged by the engine. Let's open that, open this, and I know it's in the garage here. Water, that can go in here. There we go. The trunk actually has dedicated spots too, like this. Um, this engine is pretty cool, but there's a problem with it. It has zero durability, which means it's pretty much dead. Oil, we need that. Put that in the oil reservoir. And keep that. I believe this part is gas. Not a whole lot of gas. It pours a lot faster than long drive too, I'll be honest. That was just pathetically slow in that game. I don't believe these canisters can be refilled, so I'm just going to leave that. Milk cell, no power. A funny thing about this game, though, is that, yeah, you get a house and stuff like that, and the shrine to pick up things from which you kill. I'm not sure about that. I tried that a couple times and I died, so I'm not 100% sure. But if you look in the back of the house, you see this giant red button. Now, what would you figure that would be for? <laughs> it's deflating like a dead balloon. And it poops out everything that was in it, which is great, because I could use a stick. I can pick up Pew pew, ammo, ammo, food, 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 drinks. Um, as you can tell, I picked up my house, which, oddly enough, you can store your house in the trunk for some reason. I don't know why. And you can also place it back down, if I'm mistaken, I have to face this way, though. There we go. <laughs> and it just comes back into existence. And you could literally do this with everything. I could do it with the garage. I can do it with the windmill here. Oh, I think there's more gas. Yes. We shall drive along. More gas. I should bring it up to 40 liters. There we go. Not going to carry this because it's useless. What's in my inventory? Ammo, food, drink, more food, more food. There we go. The gun is okay. It's actually very underpowering, though. So I'm going to go with something that is indefinite. Wow. Unity Asset Jessica, what do you got to say? This is your home base, stocked with survival basics. Now, the problem with that is you can actually come across this house like in 57 kilometers or so, but nothing will have regenerated. So I'm not sure if that is intentional or what, but you do find houses along the way and that's how you keep your car going, basically. Uh, your mission, go and beat up all evil bosses, grab their heads and bring them back to the shrine. So hop in your car, get to fix it, hit the road, resources for you and your ride. 
loot buildings, abandoned vehicles on your road trip. Basically what I just said, but the TLDR is that you're trying to keep your car going. Um, and apparently she just disappeared. All right. <laughs> what awaits us in this game? What is that? Um, I thought there's a zoom button, but I guess not. Is there anything else I'm missing? No? Okay. Just get in the car and go, I guess. Now this car is kind of cool. The problem with it is it's abbreviated G-R-M-P-A or something like that. And that basically means grandpa. Like, all on the road you see these things. And they're basically zombies. And they have one hell of a swagger. But basically, they can hurt you though. And he tried to RKO me, but it didn't work. And they have these tokers for some reason. Fenders come from special zombies. Hunt for them. Okay. But that's basically what you can run across and what you'll see on the side of the road. Now, you obviously don't have to kill them all because they are plentiful, but I'm going to ignore them because basically, as you can see on the bottom left-hand side, is car's vitals where the engine's 99, I have 78% gas, and the water is 99 as well. You can drive maybe 10 kilometers or so without finding a single building, so I'll probably be doing some editing to keep some of these boring bits out, but I will definitely keep finding loot and buildings and enemies all in this video. All right, now there's these things around here. I'm not 100% sure what they do. I haven't been able to kill one without dying, but basically keep shooting or stabbing at this thing and more creatures come out. Why did my car just shrink? Okay. Try to give a demonstration. My car just decides to, like, <laughs> yeet out of existence for some reason. Um, okay. But, I mean, that just goes to show... Yeah, Grandpa. G-R-N-D-P-A. Grandpa. That just goes to show that if you, like, run out of gas, you could pretty much walk this whole way, which would be a pain in the ass. But you could always throw your car back into existence. And there you go. Get back in the car and act like it never happened. Oh god, that horn. It sounds like it's trying to muster up its courage to exist. This definitely has a long drive feel to it because you can see all the wires on one side of the road. But the funny thing is, sometimes these wires will cross over to the other side. Which makes you think you're going in the wrong direction if you're used to that game. But in this game, that really doesn't indicate where you're going, so having the mini HUD on top is kind of nice. And as you can see, now the wires are on the other side, but yet I'm still going in the right direction. Okay, so here's our first building. I'm gonna shut the lights off and kill the engine. And I'm obviously going to save the game, because if I die, I don't lose everything. I have to start all over again. Alright, let's see what exists. Um, purple hood. Wood. I hear something walking around. Where are you? I know you exist around here somewhere. Probably in the backside. No? Probably inside then. Oh, 
Another battery. Alrighty. I like how I can't use my flashlight wielding this stick. Oh, dang. Nope. Not today. Is he the only one? I believe so. I think there's like a bed up here or something that I can take. Um, gas, a little bit of oil. That's not bad. I mean, oh, the water, though. Wait, is that a piano? That is a piano. Why is a piano floating from the banister? I would take that, but it has such crappy properties that I just don't want to use it. I'm not starved for gas just yet. And I might get lucky and find something else. Um, sometimes you get lucky around these places, sometimes you don't. You can pretty much pick anything up and keep it too. Like, I picked up a table for some reason, which I do not need. A door. I'm assuming that's food. Yeah, it's a potato. More food. I'm assuming this is sugarcane. Yeah. Snaps to flat surface. You know, I'm not really sure what th those do. There's tomatoes and wheat and stuff like that, but... The funny thing is, I don't think I can harvest anything that it grows, so what's the point? I just don't know if I can actually... Oh, I can. Excellent. Um, what are you? Gas and water. I feel like that's a very bad combination, but I will take it for when things get desperate. Nope. Oh, okay, where's the road? Okay, there we go. It's not like the long drive where there's like lights every 100 or 200 feet. But I found it. Home is 12 kilometers that way. And whatever that's telling me to go to is 45 kilometers that way. All right. Cool house, but unfortunately it's a little disappointing with its loop. So I guess I'll just keep on going. Oh, wow. Um, oh, geez. Apparently I just made my car explode and this thing's coming out of the woodworks to get me. All that for a stupid token for some reason. Yeah, that branch just exploded my car. Um, engine slot. Can I just have my engine stuff? There we go. That's fine. I need my damn battery. I don't have one on me. Is it in the engine compartment? Yes, it is. Good. Um, you know, all things considering, it could be worse. Perfect. Okay. Really? Or at least it didn't destroy my car. Stupid tree branch hanging out in the middle of a stupid road. Making my stupid car blow up into stupid pieces. Oh, righty. A farm. That should be cool. Grab my stick and save. Alrighty, let's go see what awaits me. Ooh! Other vehicles. Maybe they have gas in them. Sometimes they do. Um, I hear a ton of things running at me. Oh. You know, it's a good thing they're not smart. Can I? Nope. Okay. Um, I could not move for a second there. What are you? Water. Oh, hello. What are you? A muscle car? Okay, you freaky looking guy. Come here. What? There you go. Um... Earl. 
Okay. I guess I can pick some of them up. Which makes sense, that's what they said. Um, that is 100% oil. That is useless to me. Come on. Cool, another token. Do I have to? What is the purpose of said token? Yep. Oh, hello. Jerry can. Not much gas. Ooh, 100% gas. Yes, please. Um, one of these is better. That one. 58. This is 51. I'm going to dump that. I'm going to use this. I'm going to dump that. Because this is obviously better. What about a battery? Only 800. There's one that's called like Meow for some reason, and it's like 1200. So you figure this could be food, but it really isn't. I could just place it back down for some reason. What about this thing? Oh yeah, seen that. Can you even drive this? No. Oh, I could just completely break it into pieces for some reason. Can I do that with every car? No. Let's check out and see what inside has. Um. <laughs> it exists. I, I have no need of that car. It's filled to the brim practically with oil. It's just kind of useless. On to the next one. We're at 35 kilometers, even though sometimes that number keeps popping in and out of existence for some reason. You know what I noticed? I had 31% gas and 31 kilometers. I wonder how bad my fuel range is with this car. Oh geez, look at that big guy. Alrighty. Um, so I have 28 kilometers left to go and I have only a certain amount of gas left, which is 25%. So that tells me when I had 31% gas and 31 kilometers, that tells me I have some very bad gas mileage with this thing. Anyways, oh gosh. They're ready for it. Oh, here comes number one. Um, take care of him. Clown. Man. Soccer player? Well, that was something. And that big guy. <laughs> what is this? Is this like a hipster? Todd. Unity Asset Todd. Or a hipster, as it were. Um, These last two guys shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Come on, buddy. There we go. Wait, what? Desert boss. Okay. And a military guy. Some meat. Um, 100% gas. Alrighty. Gosh, some of these guys are just like... In your face. And it's nighttime. Um, you have some water, but I'm not worried about water. Pumpy! Okay. Um, 
trunk. Uh, I'm assuming a car fell down there. Okay. Oh, look, nothing. Garbage. Be nice if one of these houses provided me with a bed. Because there are beds in this game, and they do help the night pass by faster. But I don't have the luxury of that, because I can't find one yet. There we go. Toss all that in there. Toss that. There we go. Now we have these people here. Um, yep. I can buy all this stuff for logs and whatever that is. Head tube, toy train, exit sign. What is the purpose of all that stuff? Um, repair station. Oh, you might be actually more useful than the other guy. Goodbye, Todd. You're useless to me. Oh, is it going to stay there? Cool. He'll fall off, I think. Here he goes. Bye. We are at one kilometer until the next biome, and I'm assuming that is going to be a desert, which is kind of cool. I was kind of hoping for snow because it adds to another realism, like your body will get cold. Now it seems like the car is overheating. The minute I get into a desert, there's creatures over there. I'm not going to overheat with creatures right next to me. Okay, I'm going to turn the engine off. I don't know why it's overheating. I mean, it could be the water's at 47. Let's see. <laughs> he is dedicated to his job. Yeah, it could be because I'm low on water. Um, water? Yeah, water. There we go. Let's add some water back in there. Think this is oil? Nope, that's a mixture. Oil, perfect. Just like the long drive, these cars are definitely leakers, so that's pretty funny. Other than that, um, yeah, that definitely confirms that the alternator, wherever it is in this mess, does recharge the battery, which is cool. So it makes me wonder if I could just keep recharging batteries, like put a new battery in here that's low, and then just keep driving. What would be the benefit of that, though? And my home is less than 500 meters away, which is cool. Which is right here. Cool. Cool. If I'm mistaken, the minute I pass a certain area, there's going to be an invisible wall in which I cannot go back. Yep, there we go. All right. Sorry, buddy. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. There we go. We are home. For what it's worth. Is there an actual bed in here? So I'm taking that. I am taking this with me after I sleep. There we go. And the storage, which I cannot take for some reason. I mean, I could compress it. I wonder if I could put it on the back of my car. So I have just that much more storage. Oh, I totally can. Oh, that is great. Thank you, House, for providing that for me. There, there we go. I have light no matter where I go, and I don't have to kill the battery. 
Great. I like this game. I mean, yeah, I kind of wish things would regenerate. Empty. Same tires. Same busted engine. I could probably have that guy fix. Um, but it's the same house. Really. Um, that lady is gone. Still. I can't go back that way because the frosted glass no-no zone will prevent me. So, um, things that could be added to this game. Definitely, definitely more 100% gas jerry cans rather than like mixtures. That's cool. That would be nice because I can find things, but they're all going to be mixtures. Another thing that they can add is maybe have gas last a little bit longer. Because back there I had 31 kilometers before I reached this place. And I had 31% gas. And by the time I got like to, I don't know, 28, there was less than that amount for gas. So that could definitely use an update. Oh, look at him. He's just kind of hanging around my house. Like, if I tiptoe real quietly, he won't notice me. I see you. Shoot him from here. Yeah. Um, another thing they can add is the fact that when you come back to your house, they regenerate new stuff rather than the same three big tires, a couple small ones, a wheelbarrow, you know, a, a dead battery effectively. Just regenerate a few new things that can help you long. I don't see the point in a windmill for some reason. They're usually generally for pumping water, but I don't think there's a way you can do that. Another thing that they can definitely do is find a way to take the gas out of the gas tank and switch it to another vehicle. Same thing goes with the engine, like you can transfer oil from one engine to another in the long drive. They should be able to change that over here too, because it is the same developer developers I guess I watched a live stream from Gus from Gus tube and he was playing this game that's how I figured out about it which is kind of cool so there's a couple things that need to be added um, other than that the charm of this game is definitely great and that should not be changed but definitely some quality of life updates would be kind of nice but I will definitely be playing this game again, so be on the lookout for that. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.